So, Kurt, right off the bat, they're presenting you as a, obviously, a megastar, right? You come down, you kick JBL's ass in 30 seconds. <laughs> but I was thinking, I'm thinking about it as I watch this, and to your point, you were you were saying, Paul, there's guys here that you feel like could have won the world championship. And you see JBL, uh, it, there's Bobby Lashley in the corner, you know, Mark Bobby Henry. Bobby Lashley, Mark Henry, Ray Mysterio. Mysterio. Yeah, yeah, there are guys that I thought could have won the title, definitely. And so uh, you, you get a big reaction when it comes out. Obviously, it was a huge surprise. But, man, Philadelphia is a town that really has always loved you, Kurt. How good has the city of brotherly love been to you over the years? <laughs> they always loved me, even I was as a heel. I don't know why, but in Philadelphia, uh, I've always had a connection with those fans. You're, hey, you're, it's Pennsylvania, baby. I mean, yes, it is. You know, so. Hey, boy. Yeah. So, so we know how to treat you, but, uh, listen, as the battle Royal begins, let's talk about some of the people in the ring. Uh, as I said, you eliminate JBL in nine seconds, any favorite JBL stories that come to mind? No, JBL was just the biggest river. I mean, he, he did some funny stuff and, uh, you know, some, some very tasteless jokes to a lot of wrestlers <laughs> and, uh, stuff that I don't even want to announce, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> JBL was a, was a great guy to have around because he was entertaining as hell. Well, as we see Ray Mysterio working on somebody here on the outside ropes, I think that's Orlando Jordan. You eliminate Vito, whose main claim to fame was dressing as a woman during this time. <laughs> Kurt, any, uh, any fond memories of Vito? You know what? I, I remember Vito in WCW, and I loved his character there. He was like the you know, Italian you know, hitman. Yeah. Uh, I did not like the dress thing. I did not like. No, not a fan. Thing. No, you didn't no, think he no, had the no, legs for it, or fan. I, I think that uh, that might have hurt him a little bit as yeah. uh, as a superstar. But you know, he took a chance. <laughs> hey, I mean, and and you got to try to differentiate yourself. As now we see going face to face, Big Mark Henry and God rest his soul and Road Warrior Animal. Uh, talk about two big behemoths. Any good animal stories that you can recall interacting with Road Warrior Animal? You know what? I only met him a couple times, um, so I, I don't have any stories, but I would have loved to work him in his prime. I mean, I thought he was a really great worker. 